Tutankhamun. He is one of the pharaohs of the 18th Egyptian dynasty in the history of ancient Egypt. He was the pharaoh of Egypt from 1334 BC to 1325 BC. Tutankhamun is one of the most famous pharaohs for reasons not related to the achievements he achieved or the wars he won, as is the case with many of the pharaohs. Rather, it is for other reasons that are historically important, most notably the discovery of his tomb and its treasures completely without any damage, and the mystery surrounding the circumstances of his death as many considered the death of Pharaoh at a very early age to be unnatural, especially with the presence of fractures in the femur and skull, and the marriage of his minister to his widow after his death and establishing himself as Pharaoh. All these mysterious events, and the heavy use of the legend of the curse of the pharaohs associated with the tomb of Tutankhamun, which was used in films and video games, made Tutankhamun the most famous pharaoh for puzzles and questions that are still unanswered considered by some to be one of the oldest assassinations in human history. Tutankhamun died young and was buried in his tomb, tomb 62 in the Valley of the Kings. Tutankhamun was nine years old when he became pharaoh of Egypt and his name in ancient Egyptian means the living image of the god Am, the great ancient Egyptian deity. Tutankhamun lived in a transitional period in the history of ancient Egypt, where he came after Akhenaten, who tried to unite the gods of ancient Egypt in the form of the one god Sunday. During his reign, he returned to the worship of the various gods of ancient Egypt. His tomb was discovered in 1922 in the Valley of the Kings by British archaeologist Howard Carter. This discovery caused a widespread media sensation in the world. His reign, during the rule of Tutankhamun, a revolution began from Tel el Amarna against the movement of the former pharaoh Akhenaten, who moved the capital from Thebes to his new capital, Aten's sister in Minya and tried to unite the multiple gods of ancient Egypt, including the god Ammon in the form of the one god Aten. In the year 1331 BC, that is, in the third year of the reign of Tutankhamun, who was eleven years old, and under the influence of the minister, that is, the lifting of the ban imposed on the worship of gods, there is a prevailing belief that the death of Tutankhamun was not due to pathological reasons, but rather may have been as a result of an assassination attempt that was orchestrated by Minister Koperk Pro Rai a pharaonic seal bearing the name of Ai and Ankh's son Ammon, the widow of Tutankhamun. And there is also a letter sent by Ankh Hesan Ammon, the widow of Tutankhamun, to the king of the Hittites asking him to send one of his sons for the purpose of marrying her after her husband's death. And the king of the Hittites sent one of his sons to marry the widow of Tutankhamun but he died before entering the land of Egypt. And there is a belief that he was probably assassinated by the arrangement of the minister Kaprikabro Ra'ai who apparently was planning to seize the throne of Egypt. So he killed King Tutankhamun and killed the son of the king of the Hittites. But these are hypotheses and there is no conclusive evidence to prove all these theories. It is worth noting that historical evidence indicates the existence of two ministers of Tutankhamun, one of whom was mentioned and the other was named Hormat. Evidence for the reign of Tutankhamun and Minister I. And this confirms to some the conspiracy theory and the fact that Tutankhamun died due to malaria, which was widespread in the south. Causes of his death for a long time, the cause of Tutankhamun's death was a controversial issue, and there were many conspiracy theories that favored the idea that he did not die but was killed in an assassination. On March 8, 2005, as a result of the use of three-dimensional CT scans on the mummy of Tutankhamun, Egyptian archaeologist Sahai Hawa stated that there was no evidence that Tutankhamun had been subjected to an assassination and added that the hole in his skull did not belong for the reason he received a blow to the head, as was previously believed, but this hole was made after death for the purpose of embalming. Zahai Hawaz's reasons for the fracture in the left femur, which has long been linked to the assassination theory, was that it was the result of a fracture in the femur that Tutankhamun suffered before his death, and perhaps the resulting inflammation from this fracture it may have caused his death. Recent analyses also showed that the bone of the roof of the oral cavity of Tutankhamun was incomplete, and the height of Tutankhamun was 170 centimeters, and the transverse length of his skull was greater than the normal length, which led some to suggest Marfan syndrome as a cause of early death. Dominant. The final report of the Egyptian archaeological team was that the cause of death was blood poisoning as a result of the fracture in the thigh bone that Tutankhamun suffered, which led to gangrene, which is the death and decomposition of cells and tissues as a result of the secretion of enzymes from the dead muscles due to the lack of oxygen reaching them through the blood. Prior to this report, there were attempts to find out the cause of death using X-rays on Tutankhamun's mummy, which took place at the University of Liverpool and the University of Michigan in 1968 and 1978, respectively. The hypothesis that he received a blow to the head led to bleeding in the brain and then death. In a study published in March 2010, it was explained that the cause of Tutankhamun's death was malaria and complications of a broken leg. The study also indicated the presence of some genetic diseases resulting from a genetic defect inherited in the family. The discovery of the tomb of Tutankhamun 
Valley of the Kings The so-called Valley of the Kings, located on the western bank of the Nile near Thebes, for 450 years during the era of the modern state, from the history of the ancient Egyptians, which extended from 1539 to 1075 BC, was the tomb of the pharaohs of that period, where there is in this rocky valley, which has an area of approximately 20,027 square meters of royal tombs belonging to three families, namely the 18th Egyptian dynasty. The 19th Egyptian dynasty and the 20th Egyptian dynasty have been discovered to this day. It is believed that the valley contains at least 30 other tombs that have not yet been discovered. The tombs discovered in the Valley of the Kings so far, and according to the chronological order of the rule of the pharaohs, date back to Thutmose I, Amenhotep II, Tutankhamun and Hormhen, who are from the 18th Egyptian dynasty, Ramses I, Seti I, Ramses II, Amenemses, Seti II and Sipta, who are from the 19th Egyptian dynasty, Six Nakti, Ramses III and Ramses IV, Ramses V and Ramses IX are from the Egyptian 20th dynasty. There are other tombs of unknown pharaohs. Attempts are still underway to know them. The construction of the tomb of the pharaoh usually begins days after his inauguration as a pharaoh over Egypt, and the construction took most of the decades. And the workers used simple tools such as the axe to dig long grooves and form small rooms in the valley. Mostly, the corridors leading to the tomb of the oldest pharaoh were blocked and this lack of organized planning was the main reason that led to the survival of these treasures and not being stolen for thousands of years. Mummy Show From the Tomb of Tutankhamun In February 2010, the Egyptian Ministry of Tourism decided to allow the mummy of the young pharaonic king Tutankhamun to be presented to the public for the first time since it was discovered with its golden tomb in Luxor 85 years ago. Director of the Egyptian Antiquities Authority Zahai Hawa said that more than two years ago, Egyptian scientists began restoring the mummy of Pharaoh Tutankhamun, which was severely damaged after it was removed for a short period from its sarcophagus when it was subjected to CT scan. He added that the largest part of the mummy's body was fragmented into 18 pieces that looked like stones that were broken into pieces when the British archaeologist Howard Carter first discovered it and took it out of its tomb and tried to remove the golden mask that covered the face of King Tutankhamun. He pointed out that the mystery that surrounded Tutankhamun and his golden tomb aroused the curiosity and enthusiasm of the fans. In ancient Egyptian studies since Carter revealed the mummy's location on November 4, 1922, and what was hidden in the treasures of gold and precious stones, scientists had exhumed the mummy Tutankhamun from her tomb and placed it on the advanced CT imaging table for a quarter of an hour in 2005 in order to obtain a three-dimensional image of a mummy more than 3,000 years old. The results of the medical examination ruled out that the young pharaoh had been killed, but she could not accurately determine the manner of his death, which occurred in the year 1323 BC. The pictures discovered that King Tutankhamun suffered a fracture in his left thigh, most likely due to an accident, which later led to a fatal disease that could not be determined. The photos also presented at the time an unprecedented revelation about the life of the young pharaoh who is one of the most famous kings of ancient Egypt, including that he was healthy due to his good nutrition despite the relatively transformed structure, which does not exceed 170 centimeters tall when he died. There are strange things that happen to everyone who enters it. For example, the first scientist who discovered it died of poisoning, and some believe that this is because of food and others believe that it is because of the curse of the pharaohs. Attempts to find out the mystery of his death on February 17, 2010, Zahai Hawass, Secretary General of the Supreme Council of Antiquities at that time, announced in a press conference in the Garden of the Egyptian Museum a set of scientific discoveries that solve many of the mysteries of the end of the 18th dynasty, including the mystery of the death of Tutankhamun. By analyzing the DNA of the mummy of King Tut, it showed the results indicated that the cause of death was due to the malaria parasite, and it is likely that the complications arising from the acute disease led to his death and DNA analysis and CT scans of Tutankhamun's mummy revealed that King Akhenaten is the father of King Tut. The results also revealed that genetic and hereditary diseases played a role in the death of Tutankhamun, as he was suffering from a genetic defect inherited in the family and there were weakness and diseases in these mummies, and problems related to the heart and blood vessels. When researchers conducted a survey of Tutankhamun's mummy, they discovered that he had many diseases, such as a kyphosis in his spine, in addition to the deformity of the big toe, which led to atrophy in his left foot. Hawa said that the ancient drawings depicted Tutankhamun shooting arrows while he was sitting in the horse-drawn chariot, and not while he was standing, which is unusual. In his tomb, we found 100 walking sticks, and at first we thought they represented power and strength, but it turned out to be old crutches he was using, he could barely walk. Hawass also explained that the computer survey of the mummy in 2005 was aimed at verifying that he had been killed, given that previous X-ray images revealed a hole in his skull, adding that it was found that this hole was made during the mummification process, but a fracture was discovered in the mummy. 
the left leg bone, may have played a role in the death of the young pharaoh. The importance of the treasures of Tutankhamun The importance of King Tutankhamun's collection is due to many reasons. The first is that the treasure of King Tutankhamun is the most complete and unparalleled royal treasure found, as it consists of 358 pieces, including the magnificent golden mask and three coffins in the form of a human, one of them of pure gold and the other two of gilded wood. Second, this baggage dates back to the 18th dynasty the most famous and brightest era of the modern state. When the country opened up to the ancient Near East regions thanks to military campaigns and trade relations such as the export and import of resources and manufactured products and the activity of craftsmen and artists. Finally, this huge group has remained in Egypt, and it shows how the royal tomb was prepared and prepared. There are daily life items such as dolls and toys, then a group of complete furniture, tools and military equipment, and statues of gods related to the burial of the king and the rituals that lead to him, and the famous Tutankhamun trumpet, made of silver and copper, and all these contents are now in the Egyptian Museum in Cairo. Fourth, from this huge treasure or group, we learn a lot about the king's life, his love for hunting and his relationship with his wife Anka San Amun who is believed to be his relative, in addition to knowing his most important works and his entourage. And finally the only throne chair that came to us from the civilization of the ancient Egyptians. Do not forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel to receive all new from us.